Hey YouTubers, today I'm again with the next um, safety device that can save life. So subscribe to my channel and you can see all the ideas that I have that could save a lot of human life in case of an emergency or accident. So today is a device that I have in mind that could save a lot of life in the aviation industry, like an airplane. So I have a, a prototype here of a fuselage of an airplane. So this is basically something I come up with roughly to just do a demonstration that how this can work and how it can save life. Um, because everybody know that when a plane crash that no one is gonna survive, okay? Because imagine you're coming down like about 500 miles an hour down on the earth with a jumbo jet with like four, four two or 200 people inside, what's gonna happen is only body parts and metal all over like a mile long, you know? and life on the people on the ground, you know, because you never know where the accident could happen. And I see a lot of accidents playing that is all human error. That's normal, 90% of accident I see, but human error. Not enough fuel in the plane. Miscommunication with pilot and, um, and the traffic control. So there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of, problem sometime in the air and just one mistake you make and what happened people's life could be in danger okay and it's not a place to make any mistake but it does happen so this is a, a device that I think that if airplane can use this device existing airplane and new airplane that they built is to like come with an idea to put a parachute on top of the airplane okay this parachute is going to be in a compartment like this and it's gonna be a door okay and the pilot only have access to pull that lever which is gonna work manually not with electric manually and it's gonna be secure with a, like a secure pin so that no one cannot activate it you know with, with bad intention or with a without a or with a mistake I made a mistake by touching it and it's just open the airbag so you don't want a perfect plane to have a parachute you know deploy up in the air so there's a lot of safety equipment then the other safety is you have a next lever that you can release that parachute just in case of human error okay so what happened in the case of emergency plane is out of fluid or a plane landing gear doesn't work or whatever the the cause of gonna be, of the incidents, what's gonna be taking place at that moment. So the pilot have a uh, time to react to certain problems. Okay. So now what's gonna happen? The plane is in a situation, a stress situation. The plane is gonna fall out of the sky. So what the pilot is gonna do? They're gonna assess the problem, and they can they can find a a suitable place to deploy this parachute. Okay. Because the plane is not just gonna drop out of the sky. It's gonna take some time to come out fall down. So when they know that, let's say for example, they lose an the engine or something, right? So the plane lose an engine, now the pilot can pick a clear spot, a field or in the ocean or wherever that they could run this plane without getting it to drop down out of the sky and end up in loss of life, okay? So it's a simple way, the pilot deploy the, the parachute. So when you pull that lever, what's gonna happen? This door is gonna open okay it doesn't have uh, any motor or anything to open it just the bare pressure in the air that's what's going to activate it and this is like demonstration i have an umbrella here so when you pull this open the wind itself is going to pick that parachute up and deploy it okay the parachute is going to be deployed and put them open so this is like now should deploy and then your plane can drop in a safe way but like I said so so what happened here what happened here so because this parachute here the engineer will have to incorporate this parachute with the size of the plane and how big it is of a parachute that it need to like bring this plane safely on the ground 
you know, because there's a lot of maths involved in this and a lot of how long does it should be because I think that this can work. Personally, I think that this can work, okay? Because in the Apollo 13 or any of the space craft they had before, it's, they bring it down with parachute, okay? So if engineer or the avian industry take a look at this design and see how we can incorporate this in existing plane, and this is just like another safety device. Airplanes are very safe, but when there's an incident, you never know, like I said, when it's gonna happen, where it's gonna happen, okay? And there's always an incident, sometimes there's always some problem. And if they have this device in plane, I think people are gonna feel more comfortable, okay? Because any accident that you check with plane, falling from the sky, you know what happened. Everything is in pieces, body parts all over the the lawsuit and everything that comes with it is very expensive so this is gonna cost the company to put this one of these devices in each of the plane and it will cost you a lot of money by lawsuit by paying for people life and you know that one accident that could cost the company a lot of money and which they could have this system just stand by just in case there is any emergency and this wouldn't even affect the the passenger and the, and the design of the plane the plane will have the same design so that's why I built it like this so you have the same design on the plane so this is gonna be a cockpit here and this is gonna be the tail section okay so nothing has changed in the plane all is gonna be changed you have a parachute that this plane can fall out of the sky and the parachute can take over to land this plane safely on the ground. And the next safety device and that, what I'm thinking that they can have seat that have a spring. So when people land on the ground, they don't have to like sit on a form seat because the row of seat should be sit on a, form, a platform that have springs alongside. So to, to take the impact, because there's no way it's gonna just drop on the ground with like a feather. It's gonna come with some kind of a, a weight, you know. And so the spring from that chair, all the rough chair in one cup are gonna have a spring. So when you land, you don't have like a back problem when you finish. So you're gonna land very nice and the spring gonna take the shock off from people back. So I think this is a good design. And I need company to look into this design and this design could save a lot of life and a lot of liabilities for people. Okay. So subscribe to my